Hey guys, what's up? Ooh. All right. Hey guys, it's Madeleine. I'm still figuring out an intro. Today I thought I would do a Q&A. So I asked you guys on Twitter to tweet me some of your burning questions. Should we just get right into it? I think we should. But first, do not forget to subscribe for weekly videos. I put out videos every single Wednesday. What was the most fun scene you filmed on season two? Hope you answer my question. Love ya. Love you too. Um, my favorite scene so far that I filmed was the car scene where I'm like holding my ribbon between my hands and two cars were past me. Um, it was terrifying because I was actually standing there holding my core so tight because if I fell either way, I was gonna get squashed by a car. That was super fun and very exhilarating. Come up here. Fig up. Now, you better get up on this bed right now. Get up here. 20 minutes later. Thank you. Thank you. Super, super fun scene to film. There's really, really fun stuff coming up in the episode that we're about to start shooting. What shampoo and conditioner do I use? I use my hairstylist in LA's company. It's called American English. I'll link it below. It's amazing. I basically just use whatever people tell me to use on my hair. It's worked out well so far, but I do really need a haircut. Do you like to read books? If so, what is your favorite? Well, I love reading books. One of the writers of Riverdale is actually putting out a book I believe in 60 days, so two months, called Ship It, and it's about the relationship between actors and fans and how fans ship characters together in the middle of reading it, and it's so good. Another book that I love is called The Life of a Perennial Guest Star. It's by Fred Stoller. He's an actor who always gets cast in guest star roles. He's the guy who you like recognize his face, but you don't really know his name. It's an amazing book if you want to be an actor. I highly recommend it. It's really funny. He's hilarious. So I'll link that below as well if you're interested in reading him. How many pets have I had? approximately 23, <laughs> mostly cats. How has playing Cheryl changed you as a person? I was definitely misunderstood growing up and I was bullied growing up. And I think it's kind of allowed me to have a different perspective on bullies. Playing Cheryl has allowed me to dive deeper into the headspace of people who are mean, all about the way they feel about themselves. And I take it so personally. I still take it personally when people don't like me. So if I could give you guys any advice moving forward, it's just learn how to love yourself, Try not to focus on other people if they treat you badly. Hopefully that helps. Lemons or limes? Okay, so I can't pick between the two, but lemons if I'm putting it in water or like a drink, and limes if I'm putting it on any food, if that makes sense. So a few episodes ago, we found out that Cheryl is practically stalking Josie, but the story just stopped and never finished. Is stalker Cheryl coming back? Love you and please never stop acting. I love you too. Cheryl just wants to have friends and wants to be loved and wants to be surrounded by people. And Josie's the only person who's ever, you know, shown any interest in her. As a friend even, she doesn't understand feelings very well. And I think she's mucking up a friendship with romantic feelings because she's never really felt love before. So the way that I justified this is that Josie has extended a hand to Cheryl of friendship and Cheryl is either misreading it or she doesn't know how to communicate those feelings back. So instead she's become obsessed with the idea of having somebody in her life because she's been alone her entire life. You know, I don't think she handled the situation correctly at all, but it was just her way of not really knowing how to communicate feelings and still figuring out her sexuality and how to have friends and, and developing. Favorite storylines so far? You guys are going to see my favorite storyline so far. Lots of good stuff coming up. What's your favorite app on your phone? This is a great question. It is an app called VSCO. It's a little camera app that allows you to edit your photos. It's how I edit every single photo that ends up on my Instagram. I've been obsessed with it for a super long time. I suggest it. Would you ever cut your hair short? I think I would. I mean, I also think that as I get older, I'd like to have a change because my hair has been this length my entire life or longer for a role or something, cut it short. What roles are you looking to be cast in in the future? Are you going to just stick with acting or try something else? I'm definitely going to continue acting for the rest of my life. That being said, there are some very exciting things that I'm currently working on that launch very soon that are not just acting that I think you guys are really gonna like. What do you do when you're feeling upset? What keeps you happy? I'm someone who gets stressed extremely easily. I find that I put way too much pressure on myself. I usually go run in my gym to try 
try and get my head clear with some good music, run a bath, use a bath bomb, light some candles, grab my favorite book, and just relax and be in that moment. Or turn on the TV and just try to unwind for a little bit. What has been the hardest part of your career? Also, I love you so much. I love you so much. I get a lot of questions asking about advice for actors, and I think the best piece of advice I can give slash the hardest part of my career so far was all of the rejection that I got. And I would take everything personally when I first moved to LA. So if I didn't get a role, I'd be like, wow, I suck. Like, they don't like me or whatever. You really have to learn to deal with rejection. That was definitely the hardest part of my career is learning to get over that and learning to be okay with not getting roles. It's a huge part of this industry is just looking at it as if it's not rejection, but it's just another no closer to a yes. What is Cheryl's sexuality? Please settle the debate. She's still figuring out what her sexuality is. Cheryl is definitely interested in both women and men. So I would say she's bisexual. I think you're gonna see a lot more of her figuring out who she is. Are you coming to South America? When I say South America, I'd rather say Brazil, please come. I think you are going to be very happy with that answer. What camera do you use for your vlogs and videos and what program to edit? I currently have a Sony a6300 and I've been trying to really streamline my quality and make sure everything is just top of the line for you guys. And even though I'm still learning what you guys like, this camera has definitely helped. I use Final Cut Pro to edit most of my videos. All right, last question. What made me want to start a YouTube and what's it like working with your best friends every day? Love you. Love you too. I think I've told this to you guys quite often why I started a YouTube, but I just want to reiterate that it started off as a way to connect with you guys. A lot of fans thought that I was similar to Cheryl, that I was mean, and I just wanted to show you guys who I was. It's hard to get my personality across through photos and tweets, so I was like, well, let's just make a video and put it out and see what happens, and I'm excited to do it, and then I learned that I love editing, and I love making videos, and I love learning more, and now I'm doing it. <laughs> that concludes my Q&A. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos. Riverdale returns March 7th on The CW, 8, 7 Central. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know what you wanna see next in the comments below. Give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. All of the above. You guys are great. I hope you guys enjoyed this Ask Mads. See you next time.